Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking Lego Marvel Super Heroes and the Spider-Man Doc Ock's Tentacle Trap Set. Let's get started. The centerpiece of this set is, of course, Doc Ock's Octobot. As you can see here, this is a highly weaponized robot, and it has all sorts of bells and whistles. And it's also very exciting that this is such a large, imposing robot, as I feel like it makes a really great display piece. The build starts out like this until you place Dr. Octopus inside. Up front, we have this main area where Dr. Octopus stands, and it's flanked on either side by these lights. He slots right into the ship and then simply lift up the display. On the display, it's a 1x2 tile with a sticker that features Spider-Man and some other readouts. And I like the look of how the peg on his back matches up with the vehicle as if he's plugging in. At the very back, there's an exposed Technic pin where you can place the center of Dr. Octopus's four arms. Then place the four arms onto the robot in the four spots that we see here to make the robot look far more menacing. The main body adds these additional joints. This joint is built up and there's a stickered piece on the end. There's even an extra ball joint, which gives the arms even more posability than they have on their own. At the very top, you'll find this built up section with a stickered piece indicating a twisting motion. Simply twist to activate this great play feature in which all four arms can move. This looks especially dynamic when a minifigure is placed in one of the hands. On either side of the Octobot, we have these two large cannon sections. From the top, we can see that each one of these has their own unique sticker, which helps add some nice detail. Each of these can be aimed up or down, and when spun, it can shoot off the six stud shooters that are loaded within. The Octobot's definitely not short on firepower. The entire upper section can also be rotated at the waist. The Octobot sits on four large dark green and yellow legs. The pieces used create some nice shaping, and the yellow pieces have these panel detailing with stickers. On the bottom of each foot, we can see these details, which remind me of the suckers on an octopus's leg. Each leg has two joints and a limited range of movement. On the whole, the Octobot's pretty nice. Also included with this set is a police boat. At the very front, we can see two headlights, as well as one stud shooter. There's a spot at the back for Captain Stacy to pilot. He has this steering wheel, as well as this stickered piece to show the console. At the very back, we see this small build to represent the engine, as well as the sticker that's on either side that says Police 77. There's also a bar where we can see a long piece of webbing is clipped. Perfect for Spider-Man to be pulled along on his surfboard. This accessory certainly doesn't seem like a typical one for Spider-Man, but he looks pretty nice on it, and I like all the detailed printing on those two stickers. And on to the minifigures. The first minifigure we have here is Dr. Octopus himself, and he has these all new legs, which are highly posable and make this one one of the best ones that we've gotten yet. Each leg can be rotated, bent at the different joints, and has three posable fingers, which can be used to stand him up or to hold on to minifigures. Trust me when I say these are a lot of fun. This version of Dr. Octopus looks great. He has that same face that we've gotten before with those glasses and that same great haircut. The printing on the torso, though simple, is spot on, and I really love the new inclusion of the dual molded boots. He also features a double-sided face, with this more angry face on the other side. From the back, we can see how all four legs attach, and it has this peg piece that sits around his neck. With that removed, we can see a great continuation of the print from the front, including this back panel that shows where all four legs would plug in. Next up, we have the Vulture, and this one looks very true to its original design. The large green wings certainly help this figure stand out, and the detailed print on the torso really reflects the costume. On the face, we can see this grumpy look with some wrinkles and spots throughout. From the back, we get a great view of the wings, and with those removed, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front on the torso, and even more of those spots on the back of the head. Next up, we have White Tiger, and it's really exciting to get this figure because she rounds out the main crew from the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. The printing on the face looks really nice with that graphic quality. We can see the Jade Tiger amulet around her neck. From the side, we can see her main two head accessories, which is the ear piece like we got on Black Panther, as well as this ponytail piece that sticks in the hole at the top of the head. And finally, she has the accessory in her hand of that dish piece. From the back, we can see the remainder of the ponytail and the great tiger detail on the back. The Spider-Man minifigure in this set is the one that we've gotten in plenty of Spider-Man sets, except for this time he features the all-new web piece accessory. From the back, we can see the remainder of the print with some nice printing on the head. The final minifigure, Captain Stacy, feels like a combination of things that we've already seen. He has the hair from the Doctor from the Doctor Who level pack, the face from Doc Brown from Back to the Future, and this pretty generic police torso. I am glad that he was included to pilot the police boat, but overall, I'm a bit underwhelmed. 
And from the back, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front, with the police lettering. While certainly not my favorite set in the line, I still did enjoy Doc Ock's tentacle trap. I really especially loved all the minifigures, including this all-new version of Dr. Octopus, with all those great posable arms. Although it's definitely not perfect, the Octobot features a lot of great play features, including those six stud stud shooters and the moving arms. And the impressive size due to those four large legs really helps this be a great display piece. On the other hand, the police boat definitely doesn't do much for me, but I suppose it helps set the scene. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of this set, and will you be picking it up? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Check out my review of the Tanker Truck Takedown, featuring the Civil War Spider-Man. And don't forget to subscribe!